channeled letter from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. You said you would never hurt me. You said you would always be there for me. You and your fancy words cut through me so deeply, it was as though you wanted to hurt me. It was as though I didn't even know who you were anymore. You say you feel I betrayed you, but it was you who betrayed yourself by breadcrumbing me, gaslighting me, making me feel like an option, and continuously walking in and out of my life. You stopped answering my calls. You left my texts unread. If anything, you betrayed yourself again when your higher self revealed to me everything that was unfolding. It was though a movie of your life was unfolding before me of all your misdoings. It was at that moment my heart broke from so much grief. I fell to my knees with so much pain and agony. The only thing I'm guilty of is in loving you so much, at times regretfully, I loved you more than I could ever love myself. I never betrayed you, for I never stopped loving you. My soul will forever be tethered for you in eternity. My heart will always hold love and compassion for you. I have so much deep gratitude and appreciation for you on this journey. You taught me self-love to choose myself when others could not. You taught me self-worth to know when to walk away the importance of healthy boundaries. You gave me hope to love again, that I don't need to chase love for what's meant to be would always find me. You taught me forgiveness frees me from past hurt, but most of all you strengthen my relationship with God, and for that I'm ever so humbled. You are the catalyst for my higher ascension and heightened intuition, but it is now my mind that you have betrayed, for I don't know how to trust you. So your saving grace is truth. You're going to have to speak your truth, be humbled with a pure heart, ever thine, ever mine, ever ours. I love you. Divine Feminine